California. It doesn't matter. This is Star Wars. This is Disney-owned YouTube fucking studios right here. And Eric Voss from fucking San Francisco gets more fucking views than they do. Okay? I'm just saying. That's... that's San Francisco. I, I don't know. I'm just making shit up. That's embarrassing. <laughs> that, that's fucking embarrassing. This Alright, we're back. It's uh, Sunday, February the 28th, 2021. Uh, Geek How's it going, dude? Yo. It's going good. You smoking today? Uh, no, I did last night, so I'm, go I'm good. You're still high from oh. last night? <laughs> no, I'm saying I'm not gonna fucking <coughs> smoke right now. It's Why not? Easy. I'll just smoke after this. I get too stupid when I smoke. You don't. I do. That's the whole point of this show. <laughs> yeah, let's get stupid with this, okay? I guess, yeah. Anyway, cheers, y'all. Uh, it's a weird fucking Sunday, and we got a, a an action-packed social justice uh, woke episode for all of y'all. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of shit going down. I mean, it's a cancellation culture. This uh, uh, Me Too fucking... Uh, uh, left to right society, uh, yeah, a lot of shit going down. <laughs> left, right, we can't mid in the middle. You gotta be one side, apparently, you know. They're, they're making everybody choose sides, you know. I can't just fucking sit here at home in my, in my fucking living room there. People are knocking on my door. Are you blue or are you red? I'm like, motherfucker, I just, I'm smoking green. <laughs> Bitch, I'm purple. <laughs> I'm green. Fuck out of here, get the fuck out of my house. You're worse than the Mormons. For fuck's sakes. Uh, anyways. So, uh, something interesting happened this week. Uh, Star Wars. Uh, the Star Wars YouTube channel posted a brand new video. Uh, and I guess they were just updating fans on what's coming here pretty soon in the future. And, uh, to no one's surprise, the video has, uh, 1.8... So, uh, 1,800 v likes. 1,800 likes. And 16,000 dislikes. <laughs> and mind you, mind you, this is fucking, what is 80,000? 80,000 uh, 80, views. 80, views. Uh, so not, not everyone, you know, put, put whether they liked it or disliked it. But for the most part, the people who took the, and, and, and yes, it's blue on my screen because I disliked it too. Okay. <laughs> I, I, yes, I disliked it. Yeah, I don't give a fuck, okay? Um, so, yeah, the fans are have turned on, on, on Star Wars and Lucasfilms and Kathleen Kennedy. I wonder why. Uh, before we, we get on, because, man, the, the, I love this video, not just because of so many dislikes it's gotten, because of the comments, but before we even get to the comments... Let's just watch uh, some of this video and see what the fuck all the fuss was about. You know, because, uh, you know, I just want to see what the video's about. And I'm sure everyone else does, too. Uh, so, let's, uh, Kike, if you're ready, uh, three, ready. three, two, one, let's do this. This week, we wish you a merry Sithmas, join the Delta Squad of Star Wars Republic Commando, and more. Fall in, soldier. All right, some nerd. So, a female nerd, fellow nerd. This week on Star Wars, yeah. uh, she's making origamis. Just getting ready for today. Okay, first of all, holy shit! How did she do that? Shut up! That's fucking amazing. No, that's talent. I, I totally read that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, they're talking about the show, The Bad Batch. It's coming to Disney+. Plus. The fuck? Why is Darth Vader next to R2-D2 D2 with a candy cane? Sithmas? Wait. What? So Santa Claus... Lives in the fucking Lucas Universe world, the Disney fucking Star Wars. Oh universe. my god! Why is Jabba the Hutt in there? They're all he bad guys. People and rapes women. To get a closer look at these pages, along with a few and aliens too. 
What the fuck, dude? Around a <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they made it for kids, I guess, but that's fucking stupid. I would be fucking confused. I'd be like, why is a bad guy doing a Christmas fucking thing with his children? Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> Didn't he fucking forget about his children? Yeah, yeah, he, them? yeah, he fucking left them and he, he killed his wife. He choked her and fucking killed a bunch of. <laughs> he murdered. He murdered a bunch of kids. But but he's a good father, taking them to go see Santa Claus, right? Yeah. <laughs> we forget all of our faults. We forget all of our faults and our sins. <laughs> Forgiveness for killing young children, young Padawans. I forget I'm a fucking murderer. <laughs> Let's uh, let's celebrate your mission. Jesus Christ, because apparently Jesus Christ was in the fucking Star Wars universe too. His name was Anakin Skywalker, and then he turned into the devil and killed a bunch of kids. Mm, different story from our world. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's this Pod Racer? They're doing remakes of these old games. That's a remake. That game was hard. What's your favorite Star Wars game of all time? Tabletop fans and virtual reality explorers. They're going really fast I, also. I just want to know why she is not dressed like Prince's uh, Slave Leia. This week's fave game and we'll pick a few of our favorites. I wouldn't mind that. That's it for this week. But for more on these stories... That's it? That was it? Yeah, I mean, it's just a weekly update. They Some bullshit that they do. Um, but anyways... And, uh, how many stories did they cram in the same fucking thing? <laughs> wow. Alright, so... They have a very short uh, attention span, dude. Yeah, so, yeah, I have a short attention, attention span. So, yes, this video got 16,000 likes and 1,800, uh, no, 1,800 likes and 16,000 dislikes. Uh, uh, let's, let's read some of the comments. All right, so we're going to read these comments. We're going to start right here with Mr. Chris Broadbent. He says, this should be one of the most exciting times to be a Star Wars fan, but instead, Lucasfilms and Disney have ruined it with their clumsy and divisive management. I'm sorry that the creative efforts of the writers, producers, and actors have been ruined by poor corporate leadership. I have been a fan for 36 years, and I'm heartbroken that instead of looking forward to the bad bitch, Boba Fett, and the rest of it, <laughs> I'm just miserable about the whole fucking mess. Yes, Mr. Chris, who's uh, about our age, yeah, we, we we're not excited about anything anymore either. Until this fucking until this fucking crazy bitch is fired, uh, <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna be excited about nothing. Uh, I'll 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 Sydney Leo. I don't know how the fuck he pronounces that name, but he says people like Kathleen Kennedy ruined Star Wars and the show and show the true faces. Uh, the, and they show the true face of feminism, uh, tyranny, hypocrisy, and incompetence. They don't fight for women. They fight for money and power. Yes. I totally agree with you. This chick doesn't care about anything but money and, and her stupid ass movements, uh, agendas, and lesbian lovers. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Okay. <laughs> Danny T. <laughs> Disney Star Wars is a toxic environment for women. Just ask Gina Carano. Hashtag fire Kathleen Kennedy. Holy shit. Uh, he's, he's got it. <laughs> and he's got in five replies. We're not going to read the replies. My Snoke theory sucked. He writes, the unity against Kathleen Kennedy is glorious. He has gotten 1,200 1, fucking likes on that and, and 124 replies. So I think everybody feels the same way that uh, we all uh, in unity uh fucking hate kathleen kennedy and we don't want her near star wars or lucas films ever again we don't want her near marvel we don't want her near fucking anything that has to do with lucas films fucking go put her in charge of the rides at disney or something you know like fuck go she can be in charge of the amu <laughs> yeah she could be in charge of the amusement put parks she's gonna be the roadie who's like doing the yeah. fucking like yeah, just <laughs> p pressing the start, the on and off button on the rides or something. I don't know. But she had no business doing any of this fucking creative stuff. You know, messing up uh, our fucking, our fucking love. And, our, you know, our, the stuff that we fucking love. Because she doesn't fucking love it. She's just trying to make money in. And obviously she doesn't know how because she's a fucking idiot. Um, all right. Yeah, I, I I think, like, all of the, uh, all the people that are with Kathleen Kennedy... Are, did not watch the original no, movie apparently they probably didn't watch any of the movies they yeah. just like they were probably just 
in some kind of movement or club and they're really smart and have like through three or four degrees and she's like you're perfect for my team you're on and they're all like okay and they're all like, we can make new characters. So I'm going to make this, uh, you know, a really How strong. Can we embrace I'm going to make characters? this, this really How can we str- make money out of this? Like, and they have all these fucking nerds working on that. Financial nerds, you know, people that w- want to make money. And that's all they fucking want to do. Um, yeah, they, 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 they don't have someone who's passionate about the fucking story. They know about fucking Star Wars. They grew up with Star Wars. Uh, and, and they want to change it all around. Like, why would you want to change something that you loved when you were a kid? It doesn't make any fucking sense. There's already... If she liked... If she liked the song <coughs> when she was a kid, why is she changing it so fucking much? Oh, yeah. I mean, there's already a, a lure. Like, there's already a lore there. Like, there's already stuff that's been established. And, and when she goes and she rewrites stuff or, or, or puts stuff in there, all she does is fucking shits. Shits on, 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 on you know, continuity. And she shits on, sh- you know, stuff that's already been written on. Uh, on fucking prophecies and shit. Like, you know, all, all the new movies pr- basically made is that they made the prophecy not to be true. Uh, Anakin is was not the chosen one, apparently. It was Rey. It was this little girl from nowhere who has all these fucking powers. Even though Anakin was supposed to be the fucking chosen one. Uh, but no, all of that's thrown out the fucking window just to have her fucking social-ass woke fucking movement in a movie that fucking ruined our childhood. Uh, yeah. Anyways, let's go read some of the more of these comments, man, because I'm ranting a lot, and, and this fucking lady is pissing me off. Um, well, yeah. Ghetto Android says, Gina Carano is the living embodiment, uh, embodiment of what Star Wars used to be. The rebels against all odds fighting against an evil empire bent on trying to take over the galaxy. And now Disney has become that evil empire, and Kathleen Kennedy has become their agent of evil. Look, look, Disney is not the evil empire. It's just Kathleen Kennedy. She's the one who's running wild in there. She's already, she's been, she was already in there, put there in charge, and Disney hasn't woken the fuck up and realized that she's she's a problem. They're starting to now. This video, with all the dislikes and all of these comments, Disney's the rumor is Disney is now considering of either moving her somewhere else or actually letting her go. They're considering it. Uh, and, and I'm glad they finally are because, hey, man, these companies need to fucking realize that the only way you're going to keep making money is to make the people who are giving you the money happy. Not these idiots who want to make their own stories, who have no talent in the, in the, the, the tip of their pinky. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I believe that Kathleen Kennedy got the fucking job because of seniority. That's yeah, yeah, because she's been there forever. She's, like, she's been putting in money yeah, since the original. This. She's been putting in money to be, you know, to, to and as an investor and since the original three movies with George Lucas. So that's why she's been in there. Okay, but she was never a writer, a creator, a fucking, you know, or a oh, fan. Or a fan. Or, yeah, no, she just was putting in her money and and getting money in return. That's all she was. She was an investor uh, and a producer. You know, um, we should uh, make them take a fucking test or a quiz on fucking Star Wars or whatever they're going to be managing and to see if they fuck. You know what? If I was a reporter, I'd be like, hey, let me ask you some questions about Star Wars and see if you know about this shit, bitch. <laughs> you know, like and, and put her on the spot, you know, let's yeah. see if she's really a fucking fan. Yeah, but well, I mean, she, like, you honestly, know she's not because already in past interviews where they asked her because they, they told her the, the last, the last the new movies that Disney made, even though they made a lot of money uh, from the fan reaction, they weren't liked at all. And she goes, it's hard to write new material because there's no source material. There's no books we can go and read. So we're going to have to make this up. And everybody got pissed and it's like, there's thousands there's of comic- books. There's hun- hundreds of books, uh, video yeah. games, fucking stories that you can easily turn make into movies the problem is you wanted to make new characters and 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 make gay and lesbian characters and and transvestites and strong women and you know that's the problem is you start you try to put in your beliefs into something that doesn't need that shit because everybody loved it for a reason because it was already pure and perfect the way it was but you want to try to put in your beliefs and your demands and ideas. Like, that's not cool, man. That's the same thing as the fucking Mormons coming to my door every goddamn Saturday morning and waking me up and trying to convince me to go to their goddamn church. You know, 
or somebody coming over here and telling me to vote for Biden or Trump or whatever the fuck. It's like, hey, man, leave me the fuck alone. I don't give a shit what you believe in. And, and you shouldn't give a fuck what I believe in. Just keep it to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Let me enjoy Star Wars for what it is. I don't give a shit if the only Mexicans are the, in there is Chewbacca and R2-D2. I don't give a shit if those are the only Mexicans in the goddamn series. I still want to watch it. All right? Uh... Yeah, you don't see fucking Mexicans being like, "Hey, there's not enough uh, Mexicans uh, in, in the space in the <laughs> Mexicans in space." I'm glad there's not Mexican in space, dude. Like, fuck that. <laughs> That'd be a, it'd be pretty dirty out there if you ask me. A lot of litter and shit, you know. <laughs> oh my god. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I know I fucking litter. I mean, every time I have a coke and I just throw it out the window and shit when I'm driving. Um, you know? Oh my god, <laughs> you're an idiot. <laughs> You're just making us look bad, you idiot. <laughs> hey, I'm a Mexican. It's part of my culture. It is what it is. Look, anyway. look, 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 look. We, honestly, honestly, like when Diego Luna came out in one of the movies, one of the best fucking movies. It came yeah, out, one of the best Star Wars movies. That, and he Rogue. was not a good guy or a bad guy. He was in the middle. That was perfect. Because if you noticed, he was just like Han Solo. He killed a man, you know, and he was doing it for his own purpose. Yeah, he yeah. was trying to fucking be a rebel. He was doing it for the rebellion, dude. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> and we're okay with that. It's fine. It's cool. We were nonchalant about it. I mean, look, it, it is. It we is... don't need more Mexicans in there. I mean, it's fine. We got our representation. That he's pretty cool. That's it. That's all we want. That's all. That's it. Look, we, we didn't even ask for it, by the way. Yeah, we didn't. Like, we didn't care. I just want to see another fucking Star Wars movie. Like, I don't give a shit yeah. if there ever is a Mexican uh, uh, Avenger. I really don't. Like, yeah. I like the Avengers. I like the comic books. Like, what the fuck? There doesn't have to be something that represents everything in it. And if yeah. you want something new, then, then fucking write it or create it. But don't go fucking changing the Talking race of an Marvel? old character or, or some shit like I that. I was fine with Miguel. Who's Miguel? And he's like ex-con in Ant-Man. And he's an ex con. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was, yeah. And what's he his was name? Funny. I forget what his name is. I was like, ah, that's fucking full of hilarious. The, comedi the comedian. Like yeah, that guy's cool, yeah. man. I was like, okay, cool. I think his name's Ernie or something. I don't know. I remember. I forget his, no, his name. No. I think the character's name is Miguel. See, I don't even fucking care about it. <laughs> I don't to fucking remember his name. Anyways. I just thought, eh, hey, that's funny. So, that's it. It, like, yeah, um, the fans are pissed, you know? Yeah. And and Disney, I think finally after this video and 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 this right here, watching this fucking sixteen thousand dislikes, um, I think they're they're starting to wake up and realize, oh shit, maybe we shouldn't let her make decisions. If she wants to keep investing money, that's fine, and we'll cut her a paycheck. When she gets her, her, you know, she can get her fucking, uh, her dividends. But maybe we shouldn't let her do anything. Don't write. Don't direct. Don't fucking hire. Just stay at home and keep lending us money. We'll double it for you. Know, you. you know, like, yeah. I miss, I miss the times where, you know, if, if you are really fucking repressed in whatever gender, race, or whatever you want to call yourself, uh, Smart people go, you know what? I'm going to do my own fucking thing. And I'm going to fucking show everyone that this is going to be great. How about you do that? Instead of, like, fixing whatever is already made. Fixing. Yeah. Uh, yeah that, do like, your own fucking like thing, it, Like, it actually needs fixing, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah, just fucking, like, do your own thing. And prove us wrong. But you don't need to fucking, like, tinker with something that's already been, you know, written and made. And it's going a certain way. And then you just skew it another fucking way um yeah i don't know man i just, i honestly again i haven't seen the last two fucking she's, star wars movies she's, because yeah. I, and it's not because kathleen kennedy i just thought they're not that good anymore these are not great i'm gonna stop watching star wars i think the biggest mistake that they did is that they they, they tried to make them like marvel movies where like there's moments where it's supposed to be serious and they're life or death and they're making jokes. 
And the Marvel movies do that, but they, I mean, the it's Marvel movies, kind of thing. yeah, that's its own thing. Like, Star Wars never did that. Luke wasn't a, Luke didn't get his hand cut off, and then he says, oh, well, Dad, can you give me a hand? Or make a stupid joke. Like, no. He was crying and yelling. I mean, there was serious shit in all those movies, and these movies, it's like, it's like a joke. It's like a Marvel movie. They they, they try to make little, they, you know, fun little things like little in there. Little puns and here and there. And whatnot. Yeah. Um, um, and I think... The Marvel Universe works that way. It's perfect the way it is. And that's another... Yeah, because uh, uh, it was established like that. Iron Man was full yeah. of jokes, but that was the first movie. Yeah. And so the rest of them were kind of like that. They already had movies that had been done. And they were a certain way. And they didn't do that. You know? Yeah, they're called comic books. Uh, <laughs> that's the how they started. Books, there's an extended universe. There's fucking yeah. video games. I mean, there's just so much shit that you could have just taken those stories and made them into movies and everybody would have eaten them up and you would have made billions of dollars just and everybody would have got and you would have gotten like a million likes and a million views instead of these pathetic fucking you know what's his name eric voss from the new rock stars gets more views than this fucking video you know <laughs> let's not call names All right. no, no but he does his last video got more views than this fucking piece of shit. And this is the official studio in California. They it doesn't matter. This is shit. Star Wars. This is Disney owned YouTube fucking studios right here. And Eric Voss from fucking San Francisco gets more fucking views than they do. Okay. I'm just saying that's He's that's San Francisco. I, I don't know. I'm just making shit up. That's embarrassing. <laughs> that, that's fucking embarrassing. Disney. That's fucking embarrassing. Disney. I'm just saying. Uh, all right. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm uh, Let me get another fucking beer, uh, and we're gonna be back with some more social justice shit. This is an it's just uh, an action-packed social justice woke fucking video video episode today. Uh, we'll be right back. Ah, all right, we're back uh, with some more social justice woke news. Um, the Hollywood Reporter, dude, is reporting that warner brothers you don't say the, the hollywood reporter is reporting you ass i think you said that on another episode i think i did i don't know anyways okay okay this isn't a rerun okay they're reporting that warner has warner media has just green lit a a superman reboot movie and that this will be a black superman Okay. Yeah. Now, there's two possibilities here. Okay. Uh huh. Because in the comic books, wait, who's gonna fuck it? Well, no, no, I'll let you finish. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's two possibilities here with with what they're if this is true, if this is true, two possibilities here. Uh, in the comic books, there is a black soup, a black African American man who is a Kryptonian. He was one of the kids. Uh, you know, when 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 uh, Jor El's uh. Uh, you know, Kal El's parents, Jor El and, and his wife, uh, they got the baby. You know, they got Superman and send him off on the rocket. They sent other kids too. You know, uh, Superman's uh, cousin, uh, Kara, Kara, Jor El is the dad. Uh, his name was Kal El. Yeah, he sounds black. No, no, Jor El was <laughs> Superman's dad. <laughs> yeah, as Jor El is Superman's dad. Okay, okay, okay. he's Russell Crowe, I think, in the movie. But okay. anyways. Uh, Cal, Superman is named Cal, Cal El, and, and his cousin's Kara. Anyways, it, another kid that got sent, his name was Val Zod. Val Zod. And, uh, you know, as just like, just like Superman, as he was traveling to Earth, he was being shown, like, videos so he could learn and grow up. And by the time he got there, he had some understanding of the planet. Uh, but unlike Clark Kent, he was passive. He didn't think the world needed a hero and that he should just stay quiet and not show his powers and try to live a normal life. And that's what he did. And it wasn't until in the comics somebody brainwashed Superman or somehow they were mind controlling him and using him. And so Superman was a bad guy. And so this guy's like, fuck, there's no one else who can stop him. I'm going to have to fucking I'm going to have to be Superman. And boy, he finally uses his powers. And, 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 and that's in the comic books. Now, if they make a movie about Val Zod, fuck yeah, I'm in. If, the other possibility, if they make 
a Superman reboot with Clark Kent landing, you know, uh, Cal L landing in fucking Kansas, and he's black or African American, I'm not gonna be down with that. Because yeah, well, first of all, it's not gonna work because he landed in Kansas. Yeah, yeah. I mean, where's he gonna land? Atlanta, <laughs> D- Detroit, Atlanta? Like, no, it don't make any fucking sense. <laughs> you know, like, dude. This is the same thing we, we just talked about in the Star Wars thing. Yeah. You're changing the lore. Yeah. You know, you can't do that because, you know, you just can't, you know. I, I don't want... Let, and we're, we're not saying that's going to happen. We're just saying if we, that happens where, where they, they change Clark Kent into a an African-American, then that's not correct. He has his own comic book, you know? So let's follow that story. Yeah. And like, let's be legit about it. Val yeah. Zod would be, I would be, I would go see it. Fuck yeah, I would go see yeah. it. A brand new fucking different kind of a Kryptonian. Fuck yeah. yeah. I wouldn't watch anything that is new that is Superman than is not this bullshit that I've seen so far. Um, Honestly. yeah. Um, no, I mean, I, I liked Man of Steel. I, I kind of did. I just didn't like the ending. I still don't think Superman yeah. should have fucking kill or t- i think that the ending was he finally decided to kill him and, and kill him but after he destroyed and probably killed millions all those buildings falling on people and shit and a half you should have killed him from the very beginning you dick that's mm-hmm. what if, if that's what pissed me off about the story the movie was great but the but the story that, that plot pissed me off because it was like you know if it was like oh he's about to kill my friends who are right there so i'll just snap his neck bitch he mm-hmm. just killed millions of people you should have snapped mm-hmm. his neck a long time ago just because but he you was know gonna... that, that those are the executives they're like well there's not enough explosions we need something chaotic we need buildings falling down can you can we make that and they're like oh, okay we'll do that no i i don't know let's not get into that Let's get you're just straying from the subject here. Um, and then as soon as this news came out, it, they started being the rumor that uh, they're reporting that Michael B. Jordan, that they've been contacting him uh, nonstop, wanting him to be this new Superman. And this movie's going to be produced by J.J. Abrams. He's not going to direct it, but he's going to produce it. Um, I, yeah, Michael B. Jordan, fuck yeah, I'm down to see Michael yeah, B. Good. Jordan as Val Zod. He's a fucking badass actor. I think, honestly, in Creed, he was amazing. Um, in that movie, what was it called? Uh, Chronicle, he was awesome in it. He was really young there. Uh, any movie he, I've, I've ever seen him in, he's amazing in it. He really is. Um, and Black and Panther, Panther, he was, he good, was amazing. I mean, I honestly thought that he could have gotten an Academy was- Award for... Well, not just because he got jacked, his acting, like, he put a lot of feeling into yeah. that fucking character. He was a good supporting actor. He was a really good supporting actor, dude. He 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 was a... Or antagonist. Yeah, it just, it was a shame that he died because he was such a, he, he played the part really, really good. Um, so I would be, I would be down to see a Val Zod movie with, with Michael B. Jordan. Um, but I just don't want to see Clark Kent, to, to see the lore being changed. Like, I'm sorry, dude. Uh, even me, look, we're brown, dude. And we don't want to see fucking uh, Juan Martinez becoming fucking Superman. I don't want to see Cal el landing, there's, there's landing no down there in Corpus Martina Christi. Superman. Yeah, I don't want to see fucking, you know, Superman landing down there in Zapata or some shit like that and <laughs> being raised in, by Mexicans. Like, no, no, I don't want to see that shit. I'm sorry, I don't. All right, I want my Superman white, my, my Clark Kent white landing in Kansas and being a good old Boy Scout. You know who takes uh, who takes care of his mom when, and his dad. Uh, you know. Do you remember when they announced that uh, Spider-Man is gonna be black in this new movie? And there was a lot of people pissed off. They're like, No, no, in the comic book, yeah. be black. In you the know, comic like, book, no, yeah. I mean, uh, it wasn't that. And like, hang on, if the announcement was that the new Spider-Man was gonna be uh, uh, half Latino, half uh, half African American, Miles Morales. And this was before we even knew, you know, they were barely going to introduce him in the comic books. And yeah, I flipped out too because I thought that they were going to start from the very beginning, you know, like Peter Parker no more. And the guy who got bit was this kid. I thought that's what they were going to do. But when I, ah, because I bought the comic book because I want to see what the fuck was going on. They're going to change my world. I want to see what the, how the fuck they're changing it. And so I fucking bought the comic books. And no, this was... In another reality, the Ultimate Universe, another kid got bit, and then Spider-Man dies, which was hardcore. 
Yeah. And he takes over because he has powers and there's not a Spider-Man. And so he's like, fuck, somebody needs to step up and I, I have the same powers. And dude, I loved it. I mean, I was hooked. You see what I mean? But they didn't, no, no, they yeah, didn't yeah, say, yeah, that's what oh, I'm saying. Like, they didn't I, I say. Hope people don't fucking go overboard and say, like, oh, fuck this. You know, my Superman is white. No, 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 bro. Go back and read the fucking comic books and see what's going on and yeah. then talk about it. You know, don't just fucking assume that something like this is going to be going on. But well, we still don't know, dude. This and this and that. Because, look, yeah, well, we, we haven't know. That's why we're talking about this. This is Warner we Media. Know. What if. Yeah. What if it is going to yeah. be Clark Kent and they're going to change his ethnicity? Well, then they're, they're fucking up. I think they are, too. If they do that, I think they are, too. And and I think uh, they're going to be surprised at how many people will. And, and not just fucking and not just white people. They're going to be surprised at how much, you know, people of color are not going to be down with that idea. Because it's just yeah. weird. Yeah, it's not the same thing. You can't just, you know, switch it. Like, it's it's not that easy. You need to base it on something else and make it interesting, just like the Spider-Verse. That was super fucking interesting. Spider-Verse was, fucking, was, it was an awesome... It was a great fucking movie. Movie, and the graphics and the animated... I had never All seen a cartoon like that. All those people shut the fuck up. They're, they they were like, okay, that was good. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Mm. Um, But all of this news about the Black Superman brought out other black superheroes out out from twitter and guess what our friend uh, ray fisher is back uh, oh right. yeah he said i'm sorry i have a twitter and i'm gonna fucking use it he doesn't give a shit he doesn't give a shit about you geeket or me he doesn't give a fuck about us he says <laughs> he says this is this is my twitter uh and 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 i do what i want bitches yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So right away, I mean, as as soon as this news popped up, uh, he has something to say. And uh, this is straight off of comicbookmovie.com. Uh, I advise all of you geeks out there who don't know about this website to go to it. It's legit. And you'll probably hear a lot of the news we talk about from here and uh, other websites and, and, and videos. and sh we, we look through everything. We look through a whole internet to look for stories. Um, but this is a good one for everyone who just wants to always be up to date with shit. Uh, this is always a good site to go to. But uh, this this is on their shit. And Ray Fisher posted uh, on the 27th at 10.30 a.m. Because this motherfucker wakes up super early to tweet. Do y'all remember? <laughs> y'all remember that That's time? That's not early. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> now to tweet, to tweet, yes it is. That's too damn early to be tweeting. I mean, I'm at work at that time. I'm not fucking tweeting. Anyways. Do y'all remember the time Walter Hamada and at and he goes and again he calls out Walter Hamada once again calling out the president of fucking Warner uh, Media. And and he, he specifically calls out the Twitter account of WB Pictures. Oh, what an idiot. Tried to destroy a black man's credibility and publicly delegitimize a very serious investigation with lies in the press. But hey, black Superman. <laughs> Dude, you need to shut the fuck up. You do, man. Jesus I mean, like, Christ, man. number one, number. I mean, why do you keep using the man's name? Can you, can you fucking be like elegant and just be like, well, yeah, mature? I, I said all these allegations, and 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 I stand by it. Can you just not fucking tweet every fucking? Well, Black Superman told you, and I'm like, dude, it hasn't even been made. Calm the fuck down. Uh, look, anyways, um, right away. By the way, he's from New Jersey. You can't say y'all. You're not from Texas. You're not from the South. You're from New Jersey. Stop saying that. It's offending me. All right, that? all right. <laughs> I'm gonna meet to him. It's offending me. You can't say y'all. Okay. Shut the fuck up. We're not. We're not those people. You can say whatever you want. All right. <laughs> if he wants to say y'all, he can say y'all. Right. I'm gonna defend. I'm gonna defend him now. All right. He I has the right. I he has the I right can, to say y'all. Only fucking like 
see all of his buddies like what he's like hey, hey how y'all doing oh what the fuck, maybe bro? maybe he secretly likes cowboys and you know he has a horse and a ranch and all and has a cowboy hat <laughs> and, and he talks like that when you go over to his house people leave him alone people it's, from new jersey don't like horses they it, like it horse. doesn't matter it's his god-given right to fucking wear cowboy hats and say y'all if he, that's what he wants to do now leave him the fuck alone anyways <laughs> <laughs> leave him the fuck alone Anyways, back to the tweet, dude. Uh, so, yeah, right after the tweet, this article here states <coughs> that Warner Media right away issued out a statement. Oh. Yes, because he's making them look bad on Twitter. Posting the name of the president. Posting the actual Twitter account of the fucking studio. Once again, there are false statements being made about our executives and our company surrounding the recent Justice League investigations. As we have stated before, an extensive and thorough third-party investigation was conducted. Our executives, including Walter Hamada's full cooperated, uh, fully cooperated, no evidence was found of any interference whatsoever, and Warner Brothers did not lie in the press. It's time to stop saying otherwise and move forward productively. All right. Then, I don't know if you remember, uh, maybe a week or two ago, th this guy went on Twitter and posted like an audio clip of some investigator talking to him, you know, that about the investigation because he had a recording of a phone call. That investigator made a statement and she said, yeah, that very investigator on that phone call that he was all showing off. I'm on the phone with the investigator. The shit's going down. Now she made a statement. I am disappointed by the continued public statements made suggesting that Walter Hamada in any way interfered with the Justice League investigation. He did not. I interviewed him extensively on more than one occasion and specifically interviewed him concerning his very limited interaction with Mr. Fisher. I found Mr. <laughs> yeah, I found Mr. Hamada credible and forthcoming. I concluded that he did nothing and that to that impeded or interfered with the, with the investigation to the contrary the information that he provided was useful and advanced the investigation oh so like like dude and then and then he gets mad because they're telling him no and he tweets again he tweets again at like a three at 3 40 p.m that same fucking day because he's like oh fuck no i'm not gonna stay quiet because i'm ray fisher and you know how i do i tweet and he tweeted again, and, <laughs> and, and he goes, as I said from the start, Walter Hamada attempted, capitalized, to interfere with the Justice League investigation. He was unsuccessful in doing so because I did not allow him to. Okay. Okay. He had this Mangio was fucking like, oh, he, uh, Okay. Having the investigator make a statement claiming there was no interference is purposely misleading and desperate. Look, this guy, he's on the borderline of getting sued by the studio, by Warner. I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually surprised they haven't done. Something no, yet. They're, they're, you don't understand the this state. This motherfucker needs to lawyer up, dude. Dude, like right now, he's an idiot. No, he's an idiot. Do you don't understand? Read. We're gonna go back really quick, and we're gonna read Warner Media's statement. Their statement is basically a warning, saying, "You better stop." Or else, if you read it again, once again, because they're saying this is not the first time, once again, there are false statements being made about the executives, Walter Hamada, who did nothing wrong to you, you idiot, and our company, because we did nothing wrong to you. We already yeah. fired the idiot who was fucking up about the, the Justice League investigation. Now, the investigation, they, they only did an investigation because this asshole kept on poking and talking shit. And they said, fine. And they spent the money. And they said, as we had stated before, you know, we they went through a third party investigating, meaning they had to pay their own fucking money to have someone come yeah. in and run this investigation. Okay, because there was no police that came in here and busted and started doing police reports. No, they had to pay somebody to come in here and investigate this shit because this asshole was fucking complaining and being a crybaby. Um, so anyways, Walter Hamada cooperated and Walter Hamada's like, look, look, I've been I've been in New Jersey in my office the whole time. 
I probably saw, I spoke to him once for 20 minutes and that was about it. All I hear is everything he's posting on Twitter. That's all I know. And then and, and it's true, you know? Um, and they say this, uh, there's no evidence that we, there was any interference whatsoever and there was no lying to the press. It's time to stop saying otherwise and move forward productively. That's yeah. a warning. That's a warning. I promise you, if he continues, he's they're going to sue his ass. They're yeah. going to fucking sue his ass. Uh, I don't know what kind of lawsuit they could do. Defamation of character or, or I don't know, some kind of class auction. They can, they can, they're going to sue his ass. They'll find a way. Um, class and, action. Yeah, they're going to sue his ass. He's fucking up, dude. Like, he's, he's slandering the studio. Like, they spend money on an investigation because you wanted one, you idiot. You already, you won. They fired you got Josh him. Whedon. Yeah, yeah. They fired him. Yeah. You know, but you keep talking shit about the president and they wrote you out of the Flash movie. And so now you're even more pissed and you keep talking shit. They're going to yeah. fucking, they're going to sue you, dude. They're going to sue you. And I don't know if anyone's noticed out there on the internet, none of the Justice League cast members nor Zack Snyder are saying anything about this yeah. they're not they're not saying he's right they're not saying we support him they're not they're staying quiet about everything you want to know why because they like having jobs they like being they like money this motherfucker i don't know what the fuck he likes but it sure as fuck isn't being a celebrity who has a badass job and money oh man ray fisher here's to you bro. by the way by the way if people start giving me shit that he was not born in New Jersey, he grew up in New Jersey. He's from Baltimore. All right. Just wanted to clear that out. It doesn't matter. Like, like uh, oh. it doesn't matter because he's not from the South. You can't say y'all. He has the right to, to, be, to be South. <laughs> it doesn't matter. right? No, uh. we don't have the right to say some things. It's, it's okay. Oh, I don't know. I, I feel bad for a man because... I mean, he had he had the opportunity of the lifetime. They casted him as this character that could have gone on to make movies for probably 10, 15 years. And that's a steady paycheck. And that's not a small paycheck, man. Mm -mm. You know? That's like probably five, six years of me working what he makes in one movie. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Five years of salary... Five or six years of sal my salary is what he makes, what he gets paid for one fucking movie. Not anymore, because he ain't fucking making another movie. I think he's going to get a series on TV or something, but I don't know. If he behaves if he behaves the same way over wherever he's going as he's behaving yeah, over like, here. They're just giving him wings to be more of a douchebag. Honestly, and again, I think it's and just again, him. I'm not saying that it's all right for fucking anyone to say anything bad for this, like who, who was uh, racial or whatever. And, and I'm glad he stood up. But, dude, you already fucking got what you wanted. That fucking person got fired, like you just said before. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the fucking people who are on top, the presidents, all those motherfuckers, they didn't did this to you directly. They just hire people so they can make movies and make money. Yeah. And they're not they gonna find step out that something down. Was going on, obviously they did. They went ahead and did a fucking investigation, and they found out that you know, like, there was nothing wrong with the fucking executives or anyone else. It was this one person. So, calm the fucking down, dude. Like, he's crazy. He's he wants everyone. He wants fiery. everyone. Like, he yeah. wants to fucking build a big ass fire, man. Like, he wants to <coughs> burn it all away. Like, calm down. You can't he's... burn the whole fucking like enterprise. He's a joker. Let's burn it all down. He's mad. You know, he at this point, honestly, I think he's just mad because they wrote him out of the movie. But he, you know what? He wrote himself out of that fucking movie. Yeah. When he went on Twitter and he says, as long as that guy's president, I'm not going to star in any fucking movie he makes. And, and they're like, well, okay. fuck. Right. No, just cross out Cyborg from the movie because he's not going to yeah. come. Uh, he's, he just said he won't come out. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. Yeah, oh, Mr. Fisher. Mr. Fisher. Uh, you know what? Uh, I don't want you to stop. I want you to keep going. I want there to be lawsuits. <laughs> I want there to be more Twitter videos, more fucking posts. 
Um, You're just going to give us more things to talk about. More stuff to talk about. And for me, it's entertaining as fuck because I'm just seeing li the literal self-destruction of, of, a, of a, uh, a prospect actor someone you know yeah i was somewhere. gonna say a star but you're not no, even a star yeah a prospect bro, you're yeah, fucking I mean, it up you you were on the way i mean this yeah. this this row because you would have gotten several movies it would have fast-tracked you you would have skipped years of they would after after you were done being cyborg for the next 10 years then you would have been getting the really good roles with denzel and shit just because oh shit he's been in in those movies you know but not anymore dude now you're going straight to tv on a Wednesday night, nobody fucking watches TV on a Wednesday night. Nobody, nobody, nobody watches TV anymore. Yeah, if you're lucky enough. They're gonna go. They're gonna go back to Hulu and watch like the yeah. rerun. If you're lucky, they're skip it. They're gonna skip it because you better like, pray. Good, they're gonna be like skipping it and not watch you ever again. You better pray that whatever fucking network you end up in has a fucking app, because ain't nobody gonna be watching you on TV, motherfucker. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh i'm done talking about this fucking guy uh it was fun though i love that guy i do love him man i do like you know ray fisher i said you love your way man peace 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 and love and i hope you change your ways brother i do i want i want the best for you bro i don't want you to see you a uh, fuck up like this it's embarrassing bro it is it really is yeah it's kind of like the guy that you invite to a party and then he starts drinking too much and he goes like hey what's up and like starts fucking screaming shit out and you're like hey dude come down we just invited you to this fucking place hey come down like be chill bro. <coughs> yeah dude like <laughs> yeah like, like take it easy man you just you just took like four shots look bad, in a bro. row i know like <laughs> i just I, got you free beer and I told, snacks and pizza and then you're making an ass out of yourself yeah i told everybody chill, you were bro. good and she's like fuck <laughs> you're making me look bad and shit <laughs> Um, I can never come back here. <laughs> I can never come back here again. Mess me up. Anyways, um, crap. We're going to move on to something better. Yeah, but first. What? We're going to get a beer. Oh, yeah. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. Um, uh, you know, we should have done this because we did the, we, we did the um, what's it called? The PlayStation 5. Um, a state of play. Uh, we should have done the Nintendo Direct, and we should have done the Zelda presentation. But you uh, know what? The Nintendo Direct was really fucking shitty. Too. No, I know, but see, that that's that that's fire for us, dude. I mean, we're just gonna be talking shit about shit. Um, anyways, um, and for that, I apologize. And on the next on the next one, we'll, we'll definitely do, and we'll start doing these things, especially long presentations that are gonna show a lot of video games. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll shit on all that shit. Um, but uh you know this just came out and and you know why not talk about it because you know it's it's new and uh it's a, it's it's cool i guess uh uh nintendo uh S switch uh just announced the remakes of uh pokemon uh diamond and pearl and they're calling it brilliant diamond and shining pearl and it's going to be released in the late 2021 for the nintendo switch and this is the official trailer are you ready kike yeah Three, two, one, lay. You better so that, explain what's going on. Because so I this don't know game, about this uh, so this game originally came out for the 3DS. Uh, so that's why they're showing it to you on the 3DS there, and they're basically showing you how it used to look. You know, I mean, it was pretty good, I think. I never played the Diamond and Pearl. I played uh, the last uh, Ruby and Sapphire was the ones that I played. The last ones in those systems. And so and this is for the Switch now. And it looks fucking good. I fucking like it. So they're doing the same thing they did for Zelda, right? Yeah, it's a remake. It's a straight up remake of the same game. Uh, just with the new improved graphics. And I, I, dude, I like this, man. Those, those older games are good compared to these new games that they've been making. So if this is a complete remake of that old game, this is legit. I'm going to buy it. Because I never played Diamond and Pearl. And now, look excuse at it. my ignorance, but like, what's the purpose of this? Just fighting other animals and collecting other animals? That's that's it? Okay, so let's just pretend that you're a kid. 
in this world. You're a kid. Mm -hmm. And every kid, there's like, uh, you know, like soccer and, and baseball champions. Well, this is Pokemon. And what you do is you go into the wild and you catch wild animals and you train them. And then you go into the gym and it's like a stadium and there's a guy there that's in charge. And if you beat him, they give you a badge, like a trophy. And if you get like seven trophies, then you go to go to the league. And in the league, you, fa you face the best of the best there. So if I if I may, this is like you're the coach of the you're the trainer or a coach. Yeah, you're a trainer. The, you train the, the monsters people that you recruit of the people that you recruit. They're not people. Mon they're monsters. They're, they're monsters. Oh, they're wild animals. They're animals. They're yeah. animals. They're animals. Well, I didn't want to say animals because then it's going to be like, oh, well, you're just well, fighting. They're, like they're monsters. They're, they're pocket they're, they're, monsters. They're, they're, they're pocket monsters, but they're so animals you're fighting them against other animals in this basically. world. Yeah, in this world, they're animals. Okay. And and that's that's basically what it is. And there's right. competi there's competitions and you know, kinda like baseball competitions. All the kids go play baseball. But here the kids are trainers and they fight little animals. Yeah. And that's what you do. You do they walk... die? Um yeah, but you take him you take him to a poke center, which is like a uh like a hospital, and they just heal them. You give them the ball, because they go back in the ball when when they kill them and then they revive them and they're back to normal. I guess... I guess I was a little, I don't know. I never liked Pokemon. Uh, sorry, guys. I know there's a lot of you that love fucking Pokemon. But I thought the fact that you're fucking fighting animals is kind of like fighting fucking boxers. You know, like fucking yeah, it uh, is. Uh, bo boxer but, dogs. And, and like they get killed. But these are like monsters. Like they, no, you just said it were animals. But, but they grow. They have like different forms and shit. Like right. you'll you start off with a little lizard, and then by the time he's like level seventy, he's a fucking dragon with wings, and he breathes breathes fire and shit. And, and he's again, like, disclaimer, ten feet tall. I'm a Mexican. I'm from Mexican descendancy, and I know about the whole cockfights and the fucking you know the the, yeah, yeah. Fucking, the, the bullfighters. I see. I never fights. liked that shit. That's fucked up. It like, is fucked up. Fucking all those sports are fucked up, dude. I saw um, a cockfight when I was a little boy. Oh, uh, I've I was, never seen one, but I've seen like. I did see one, there. dude. I did see one. My cousin, my cousin from Mexico, he would train them, and then they would go and <laughs> then they would go to the place where they would go and fight them, and they took me there to watch them, and it was the most horrific thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. I was a little boy, what dude. Up? I was like, "What the fuck? <laughs> They're killing each other. Stop him. Save him." Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well they have a hospital <laughs> here they have a hospital and they revive them and they go back to normal um anyway so I it's, I it's, guess. A, it's a remake they're making a remake of the old games that's a that's cool i guess um uh, i mean you don't care about it right i i just didn't, i didn't grow up with it I, I, th I think i was too old for it yeah i mean yeah Primarily, I mean, I, this, this has always been I for saw kids. I my cousins but... watching it, but I never got into it. You know which one I liked? Pokemon. I mean, uh, not Pokemon. Uh, Digimon. I thought G Digimon was better. I saw a couple of seasons of Digimon. Uh, then after it made a... more sense to me. I, well, they're digital I mean, monsters, and they do say they're in digital the computer. Monsters. Yeah, you would go into the computer world. That was a little weird, though. You go into the computer yeah. world. Oh, uh, VR. I don't know. Well, um, <laughs> yeah, VR. Elon Musk. Uh, apparently, that's not the only thing they fucking showed us, dude. They oh, really? Sent, no. They sent us a second trailer. Ah. Of a new game. So that's the remake of the game. The, the old games. But they're also going to release a brand new game that they've been working on. Okay, so hold on. Because the last one they released uh, was super shitty. The Sword and Shield, they were fucking shitty. Everybody. I that mean, was my my next question. Okay, so what's the difference between Sword and Shield? And like, I know there there's Pokemon Silver and Gold. And okay, this yeah. And this, and that. this is why blah, there's. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. What's the difference between one and the other? This is why. This is the gimmick. The gimmick uh... Uh, of Pokemon. Yes. So they make two games. Mm -hmm. The two games are exactly the same game. Oh hang my on. god. Hang on. Exactly the same story. Okay? The difference is that in every game... You have game... more monsters on the other one. No, no, no. In every oh, game, no. okay. every, every generation, that, that's how I'll explain it. Because, you know, they make a new a game and it's two games. And then two years later, it's another game, but it's two games. You know what I mean? Every generation. In every generation, there's two games. And in every yeah. generation, they add 150 new monsters. So let's just say the first generation. The first two games first two games was blue and red 
Yeah. In that generation, there's a total of 150 monsters. But in each game, there's like eight in each game. Eight that you can't get in this game, and eight that you cannot get in this That's game. That's what I said. They're yeah. different. There's different monsters. Yes. But no, but there's only like eight of them. It's not like a lot of them. A lot of them are the same. There's only like eight of them. That's even worse. And hang on, no. But this is this was the gimmick. Is that they wanted people to play together. And so you would find so you a friend. Exchange them? Yes. You would connect the ah. cable. You would connect the cable to your Game Boy to the other Game Boy, and you would trade monsters with your friends. So you can bet with uh, you can say like, hey, bro, I'm gonna buy silver. Can you buy gold? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or some shit like that. And that's so what we, we did. Have all of them. Yeah, that's what we did when we were kids. Uh, I get and, it. And that was well, a I guess genius. it's not that bad because I was like, oh, that's a fucking like. And that's how they got kids to play with each other, you know, and hang out. And... you. Well, it's not bamboos. It was. It would have been bamboozled if it forced you to buy the two games. But it, it just all it did was force you to be friends with other people. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there was anything bad with that. I was like, they're geniuses. They're getting kids to play together with the same game. That is a very fucking smart thing to do. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'll that, give it to that, them. That's why the game. I, I think that's why the game became popular because all it's the like kids trading cards. Yeah, all the kids were playing it together. And then since since you you not only could you trade, but then you could battle each other with the same connected to cable, and you could you choose six monsters, and he chooses six, and you would fight and see who trained his better. Yeah. Cool. And so that's how kids were playing back back in the day. Uh, tell me when you're ready. So this is a brand new game. The last one sucked ass. Uh, Sword and Shield. It looked nice. And they had some good ideas. But it sucked. But Sword and Shield was an original game, right? Yeah, it was a, for, yeah, for the Switch. It was a new generation. And this is an original. This is an original game yeah, for the it, Switch. It's right? a new one. It's a new one. Gotcha. Ooh. Man, you guys eat up Pokemon like nothing. Yum, 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 yum. Uh, the graphics kind of look kind of weird. I don't know if it's not gonna lie. They do. I don't know if it's the art style or if it's not fully rendered. I don't know. Something's I don't going think on. It's fully rendered. You think? Why would they show us unfinished? Look at the grass. That looks not that good. Oh, so you can and just you look. You can you can just catch Pokemon now just by throwing balls at them, or fight them. I I thought that was the fucking idea. Yes, but it, you, this is you. We couldn't. It, it never was like this. Like this is the way we always wanted it to be. Like. Um, so this is more RPG then. Well, now it is, yeah. It, you're moving around freely. It's like Breath of the Wild. But... See, I thought it was like that all along. No, I mean... It, it, it was like the way the other game you just saw. It was like little little things just moving like that. This is like Z Breath of the Wild now. But I don't... Man, this is the problem, man. They get good ideas, but the graphics suck. When is this supposed to go out? Well, let me find out. I don't know. This is the first time I've seen this. What is this? Oh, okay. This is this is uh, this is Arceus, Arceus, or whatever. Uh, the Pokemon God. This is the God of all the Pokemon. Arce Arceus, Arceus. That's Arceus. What, that's what this shit's gonna call in twenty twenty two. So two years from now, maybe this was like un unfinished, unpolished, and shit. Uh, yeah, I mean, let's hope so. Um, this other game, I mean, like you know what the fucking Switch can do, man. Yes, I mean Breath of the Wild. It looks like they're trying to do Breath of the Wild, but the graphics are not Breath of the Wild. They look fucking like it looks really sharpened, like sharp. You know what I'm saying? Like you know that Photoshop when you sharpen a picture. Yeah, feather it. Like it looks like. Blurred. It looked smudged, like blurred smudged. or sharpened. I don't know. It looks weird. <laughs> Remember uh, Smudge? They had a little thumb. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I. The idea of me running around in in the wild, like that freely, is badass. I just hope it looks better when when the game so comes out. Did even explanation that that's gonna be like an open world RPG. No. Mm. Um. Let me see if I can find the 
Let me see if I can find an explanation as to what the fuck is going on. Because I'm sure they, they have a a website. A nerd. They, know, they have to have an official website. They usually do. Here it is. Official website. They usually, uh, yeah, yeah, give me your cookies. I don't care. Okay, uh, I, I, let me let me pull it up and we can watch it here. Uh, let me send you the link. Sorry, y'all. There's gonna be some editing of all this shit. No, obviously. I'll get this open. Here's the link. That's to the fucking website. Um. So available early 2022. So probably in like April, March or April of 2022. Mm -hmm. It's a still a long ways. So I'm hoping the graphics are going to look better than this, than what they look right now. Well, yeah, that's a, a whole year, more um, than a year from now. A year and a month. Yeah, they're going to fix that. I'm pretty sure. But there is no explanation if this is going to be a full on... Uh, RPG open world is is there? Uh, yes, uh, that's what I'm reading right now. Hang on. Uh, it says um, the Pokemon Legends Arceus game Ar Arceus game honors past yeah. Pokemon game core, core, core gameplay while infusing new action and RPG elements. You need to catch, survey, and research wild Pokemon in a long gone era of Sino region to create and complete the region's first Pokedex. Wait, what? Are you telling me? Oh, this is gonna be out in the wild. No, I'm. Right? I'm. I hope that's not the only thing you have to do in the game. Is just catch all 150 of them and that's it. Because now that you said that, it does look like olden times. There's no city. It's just yeah. like out there in the wild. So, yeah, you're right. It does look... There's no cities. There's no roads. It does look like you're just out there in the wild. And this is old times. So, like, what's the point yeah. of the game? You just need to catch them all and that's it? There, you don't, there's no fights or nothing? I don't know, dude. It's kind of weird. You see, yeah, this is... Yeah, if you look at their... Uh, uh, their you know like this is the problem yeah, with nintendo like this is the problem with nintendo is that you have something that already made you millions of dollars why do you gotta change it and add some craziness like you know cardboard boxes or fucking shit where you're doing this or, or this oh man i hope this is good it looks the idea of it looks good but i don't know some now i'm starting to get worried all right, look yeah, what this. Yeah, this is not in the in the, the 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 recent times. This is like in the olden times. So look, catch Pokemon. It says to catch Pokemon in the Pokemon Legends, uh, you can observe them and learn their behavior. Then carefully sneak up and aim your Pokemon, uh, Pokeball, and let it fly. You also have your ally Pokemon battle, uh, wild Pokemon that you hope to catch. Just throw the ball holding your ally Pokemon near the wild Pokemon, and you'll seamly seamlessly enter battle and command your Pokemon by choosing from moves it knows oh so you can just throw it and, and get into a fight with with one of them okay so there are battles and you have to yeah okay go for it so i imagine that these little ones in these pictures these little ones uh, down here you can probably from the start of the game just throw a ball and catch them but then the bigger ones you won't be able to do that you'll have to actually fight them and lower their health to be able to catch them you know what i mean because they, I mean, yeah, they, yeah, they show you the two idea they show you the two pictures and the little girls in the grass and they're they're little like they look like little baby cats and so those you can just throw a ball and you'll catch them i but, just hope there's a hospital too for them because hope, yeah. in, in olden times <laughs> i don't know if they care about animals back in the day that's true let's hope there's bookie <laughs> no, centers we, we just eat them <laughs> they got dead we eat them yeah <laughs> just roast them uh okay <laughs> so uh, something about the adventure let's see what it says You'll be brought to the Sinnoh region, the setting for Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl. Uh, but this story unfolds in a long gone era, before ideas such as being a trainer or having a league even existed. All around you'll find wild Pokemon in harsh environments that make the Sinnoh unlike the region you may remember from the days of Diamond and Pearl. 
Oh, dude, you know what's crazy is that they they're remaking the two, the trailer we just saw before. It's yeah. the remakes of Diamond and Pearl, which is the same land as this game, but this game is in the past before there were any cities or people. Yeah, that's why the Pokeball looks different. You're right. It looks like it's like wooden or something. Um, yeah. It has a little thing. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, I just want the graphics to look a little better. Yeah, yeah. It looks, it looks a little rough. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I concur with you. Um, but um, I don't know if kids nowadays are gonna be into this. You know, cause like, they're gonna be like, ah, oh, it's history. I don't like that. Look you what know, it like, says. Look at what it says about the balls. It where says, are all the buildings? <laughs> yeah, where are all the cell phones? Uh, where's the computers? Uh, the Pokeballs of old were apparently built a little different from the ones we know so well. They were mostly of wood and steam puffed from their tops when Pokemon were caught. Okay, so they're wooden. Steam puffed. And then these are the three starters. Uh, we're gonna get Rowlet, Cyndaquil, and Ashwat. Uh, everybody's gonna choose Cyndaquil. Why wouldn't you? Psh. He turns into like this big fucking thing, you know, that has fire along his back like Godzilla, but the spikes are fire. It's fucking badass, dude. Cyndaquil. That sounds like a a medicine that will give you like second. Uh... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so here's a little, some backstory on Arceus. Um, Arceus said to have shaped all there is in this world. You know, so. He's the god. And uh, so, yeah, that's uh, the games. Are Isn't it Arceus? Arceus, yeah. Arce Arceus yeah. or Arceus, whatever. I don't think that European people would like to name their Pokemon Arceus. Because Arce means ass. <laughs> These are Japanese. I don't think they give a fuck what, what it says. They're just, it sounds badass. Let's do it. Um, so, well, yeah. They're going to change the way they pronounce it anyways. I mean, I'm probably going to get the remake, you know, the the Diamond or Pearl. I'm, I'm probably going to get one of those just, you know, pass, to pass the time because those games were cool. Um, I don't know about this. This this one, I, if the graphics get better, maybe, and depending on the ratings, dude. Nowadays, dude, I don't even buy a game until I see, like, the all like three or four channels giving it some scores. And if they're not in the maybe eight and a half, nines or tens for sure, I buy. Nine and tens, I always buy. Uh, eight and a half, I might buy it. Oh, yeah, but I'm still skeptical sometimes. This picky motherfucker right here. Because I am. I'm fucking uh, I don't give a shit. Well, well, you know what? I I think I'm not going to get any of them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, because, that's fucking uh, fine, dude. You don't have to be into it. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, I know not. I mean, I know a little bit more now. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, uh, it's whatever, dude. I mean... You know, I don't give a shit about it either. Um, fuck you, Nintendo. You always... <laughs> uh, I'm still waiting for Breath of the Wild Part 2, you know? Yeah. Or or, or a Metroid game. Or a, a, or a normal Star Fox game that I don't have to be fucking doing this shit. <laughs> Fuck's sakes. Anyways, um, that's all we got for today. I uh, hope you all had fun listening to us fucking talk shit and rant. And Being stupid being stupid and drunk and high um <laughs> excuse me uh watch out for us this week um if there's any leaks with the wanda vision or rumors you know we'll probably talk about it uh they probably won't be true we can't wait till fucking friday just like everyone else to finally see how this 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 four hour long movie is finally gonna end uh it's gonna be awesome uh, um until next time uh my friend down here it's gonna give you a little bit of life advice. No, you say something, man. Your turn. What? Well, yeah. no oh, fuck. I don't know what to say. All right. Um, you know what? Nintendo. Fuck you, Nintendo. This is for you. This is some life advice for Nintendo. If this Pokemon game is supposedly the game that everyone wants. Then you better actually fucking make it look good because it doesn't look good right now. It does not. And you better fucking make sure 
that this shit is polished and you better if, if it's not you delay it in another two years i don't give a fuck but you fucking make this perfect i don't want another fucking cyberpunk cd project red fucking bullshit that we got by spending $60 getting in line getting into a fight with that piece of shit from GameStop because he was asking me for my ID even though my goddamn hair is fucking white to get the goddamn game uh and uh yeah fuck you CD Projekt Red that game sucked ass and I still haven't finished it because the goddamn fucking mission gets stuck every time I play the game so I can't even finish the fucking game that sucks dude um so you know, Nintendo, you better you better make sure this game is good. Cause then you're not gonna get my money. Nintendo, don't worry. He's still gonna give you your money. He's in his mid-30s and he's gonna give you more money in his mid-40s. It's gonna be okay. Uh, maybe. It depends how drunk and high I am. At the time, I'm in the East store. You know how it goes. Alright, we're done for tonight. Peace out, people.